Hello everyone, this is Our Water. Welcome back to another episode of Golden Sun. In the last episode, we headed into Magal Forest and we essentially just conquered it in one episode, along with obtaining quartz. So in this episode, we're gonna head on forth and go into this new area right here. So this is, oh gosh, uh, Jan? I know existing um, speaking exes in uh, Chinese is a little bit weird. I think it was Jean and not Zan. I I don't freaking know. Anyways, we have a Mars Jenny up there. We can actually attain. So you see this woman? She's actually carrying water. Well, it's kind of hard to believe uh, if you talk to her. Do not speak to me. I might spill my water. So you want? What do you want to do? You want to be a jerk because she's carrying the water over to this jar over here. You want to stay here. And when she gets over here, talk to her. What are you doing? You made me spill my water! And so yeah, she gets mad and huff and she spills the water and it looks like she essentially had an accident. Anyways, that's beside the point. Here we get to use Mia's Frost. Frost essentially will freeze any puddle of water into a giant ice pillar. This will be, a, this will be used as a stepping stool for us. So we go over here and we can pick up this Jenny. So that was quick, we got a Jenny right off the bat. So now we have Mist. Lovely! Mist puts enemies to sleep if it gets a chance to. So, is there anything else I can do before I can actually- Oh wait, there's the item shop! Uh, not that way. The item shop is over that way. And I want to try that. Oh, so if you talk to this guy. hoo wa ha -cha! I just realized you're small. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna be a jerk. What? What? What happened? The tree jumped on its own! Haha, <laughs> sucker. Anyways. Item shop, do you guys have anything I want? Dang it! What about you? You have the China dress? That's what I want. And the Mia. Sell off the travel robe. I should probably empty out my inventory while I'm here. So, I'm actually gonna do that. Give me a- no. Uh, no, I can't, I'm gonna go talk to the lady because I also need to pick up sacred fetters because I want to run for monster battles. Uh, don't have any rarities. All right. So give me a second. I'm just gonna clear out my inventory real quick. All right. So just sold off all the equipment I don't need. This is what everyone's inventories look like. Um, I'm actually hanging on to the water bottle because I just realized something. If you go back to Mercury Lighthouse and pick up some more Hermes water, because the fountains there is endlessly spilling out water, you can actually get more. And I believe that restores 1,000 HP. I actually don't think that's correct, but I- but whatever, I'll put the number on the screen. It restores a certain amount of HP, I believe. So you could probably do that, if you so please. Now, here, I should actually buy some Sacred Fetters. I'll give it to Isaac. Uh, ten's good enough. All right. I no 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 no. I I fit the I wanted the game ticket. No, whatever. It's it's not like a hurtful loss. I can get more. All right. So what we want to do? Do we want to go down here? No, it's just some random person's house that we shouldn't be going into. Um. Oh, I I actually I think that's the end. Well then, whatever. You want me to go here, and you have all these people. What do you have to say? Master Faye is very busy. Do you still wish to see him? Yes. Look there. You see that line? Stand there and use chi. If that tree falls, I will take you to see Master Faye. Alright, so you want to make sure you're behind the line, and then you want to use force. What did you do, warrior? The warrior used chi! He did it from the line, and the tree fell! He knows Kung Fu! Do you know Kung Fu? No, I don't know Kung Fu. It is unbelievable that someone who does not know Kung Fu can use Chi. Yeah! What happened? The door opened on its own! Feiji, wait! Are you worried that Sue is late? He's only a little late in return from Lama Temple. Do not worry. 
something is wrong with Zhu. I can sense it. Ah, Feiji. Is it your power again? Ever since gems fell from the sky and hit me, I have sensed bad things. You say you sense evil ever since you received the power of prophecy. You have told me already. I do not believe it, Feiji. Your visions are just coincidences. My visions came true many times, no? I had a vision about Mogao Forest, and that came true. Yes, yes, your predictions came true, Veiji. It was very surprising. The Flood Nalton. Did I not predict that, too? All Feiji's predictions come true. See, Father? I have heard this all. I was surprised, too, but it's still coincidence. You still don't believe it? Sue is light, so you worry too much. But you do... But do not think bad thoughts. You sent people to find Sue, correct? Stubborn old man. What did you say, Feiji? You should not speak so to your elders. I will not s I will not ask anyone. I will go alone then. It is too dangerous. Yeah! Master Fei! Feiji go has gone! Feiji was very angry. She was frightening. Sue's in danger. Feiji's going to help! Feiji knows Kung Fu. She will be alright. Feiji is alone. She cannot go too far. She will give up soon enough. Until then, let her be. It fell. What happened? The warrior did it. He is Chi. Warrior, you. Can you use Chi? I don't know, honestly. Warrior, you speak nonsense. You use Chi. Do it again. No. I want to see your Chi, warrior. Well, screw you too, old man. Yeah! The tree fell! Master, you see? The warrior used chi! The warrior's chi is excellent! Are you surprised, Master? What is wrong, Master? Hmm. The warrior did make the tree fall. I grant you that. Is something wrong with the warrior's chi? What the warrior did, it is not chi. What? It's not chi? Hmm, it looks very similar, but it is not chi. Warrior, have you been to Fushin Chem Temple? Yes. Ah, I knew it. How are chi and Fushin Temple related? I learned my chi from Master Hama of Lama Temple. Then it is the same as chi, is it not? Very similar, but still different. Chi concentrates the energy of the body into the hand, then releases it onto a distant object. You, warrior, use energy focus from the mind, understand? Yes. This warrior is wise. The power to will something to move requires much wisdom. Fuchin's Qi releases the mind's energy like Qi releases the body's. The body's energy has limits, but mental energy has few limits. Train your Qi. It will grow very strong. Do your best, warrior. Practice, everyone! Qi has its limits, but anyone can use it. Practice, practice, until you learn the power of chi. Alright, do you have anything useful to say? No, you freaking don't. Okay, fine. Okay, I guess it was a Z and not the X. I don't freaking know. I don't know Chinese. Blah. Anyways. 
That's all we had to do in this area, so we have to go- Oh, wait, maybe not. You are the warriors from the school. Are you strong warriors? Yes. I'm happy to see strong warriors. I hope you will go west. Sure. I, I will listen to you, lady lady over here. But before we head over there... If I recall... That's not what I wanted. If I recall, if we go north of Xi'an, uh, whatever you freaking call it, and not run into a bunch of monsters, there's a bridge over here, and this bridge connects to a tiny dead-end island right here. You want to run around in this island. Why? Because you ran into a Mars Jenny! Yes, I think this is the very first overworld Jenny we've seen thus far, to be honest. So, we need to annihilate it, so I can take it. Cause that's what you do, you beat things up and then they become your party members. It's kinda like Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, oh gosh, fireballs. Ow, 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 ow. Fever. Oh yeah, I should probably switch Garrett and me again. I just realized that Garrett's faster now. Oh yes, it's asleep! Yes, it's not gonna run away! Sleet, Flint. And nah, uh, Jupiter. Hopefully it's not gonna freaking woke back up. I was about to say, I hope it doesn't wake back up and try to run. It's not gonna run this turn because it just woke up. It, if it's faster than some people, though, it might try to run next turn. Uh, sure, 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 sure. No! Don't run! I need you! You must be my partner! Okay, we have people leveling up. Alright, so here we have another Jenny, our third fire Jenny. I don't know, the only level 3 Jenny I've shown thus far was uh, Ivan's. So that's, you know what, you, you, you have two of your three on standby, so let's show off Mia's in the next battle. So, let's go off to, okay, I guess we have some people who want to get killed. Uh, defend. Neptune, uh, sure. Defend, defend. Because I have no idea what, what's going to die and what's not. Hey! Hey! Oh, frick, I just realized I didn't heal! No, I didn't heal! Don't kill me! Alright, so now we have three Mercury Jennies on standby, so we can summon Neptune! A giant killer four-eyed whale with razor teeth. And that didn't kill the Wilheads. Shoot. Th this could, um, ah, uh, well. Uh, frick, th this might be bad. <laughs> um, I clearly didn't think this through. Clearly didn't think this through. Uh, sure. Please die. I would like for you to die before any of you guys kill me. Okay, they're all dead. No, wait, no, it's not. They're not all dead. Okay, that's it. You, freaking you, come here. Just die. Alright. That was a little scary because I didn't realize I didn't heal. Alright. Uh, next up, we'll have Garrett. Uh, she's the Feiji told us to go west, so let's go west, unless we want to run into some more monsters. All right, so while we're here, I guess I'll show off Garrett's uh, new summon. Uh, Dows, sure, why not? Earthquake and Whirl. So let's see what happens with this. Uh, no, not on this sword. That hurts. It's like bone charge, except much worse. So we have Tiamat. Giant dragon with tiny arms and tiny wings. Is that gonna kill everyone? No, freaking didn't. Oh, uh, why is- what is with you singular de death heads? Not wanting to die. Alright, so now we showed off that summon. I think the last one is Isaac. So next battle we'll show off Isaac's summon. And we just need to go left, I believe. There we go. Alpine crossing. Yeah! 
Silk Road! Bol boulders block the road! My vision! It came true! Sue! Sue! It is no good. I cannot hear Sue's voice. Uh, you're gonna be alright. What do I do? Warrior should ever turn to Jeanne? Um. Well, now that you're here and you know Kung Fu, you'll be alright, so I would say no, honestly. You are right, Warrior. Of course not. I must find Sue. Alright, so what can we do here? Well, we have a bunch of things we can do. First, we can freeze this. Uh, actually, um, I really want to show this off, though. I will show it off, and then I'll do the thing that I wanted to do. What's the thing I wanted to do? What you're gonna see soon. Maybe not this episode, maybe next episode. I- it depends. So down here, if we go right, there's actually a treasure chest. This treasure chest holds a freaking cookie. No, power bread, shoot. Uh, no, uh, Power Bread, maximum HP, obviously to Ivan because he's the weakest of us all. And we can't go left at all, so all we can do is go north. Where, what happens if we go north? Well, we enter Alton. Wait. Are we supposed to be here? No, I think we're supposed to be here. So, first thing we'll do is move this, because in here, I believe it's a treasure chest. Treasure chest contains a side crystal. And so here, as uh, Feiji mentioned before, she predicted that Alton was flooded. Oh, it freaking is. Which means we can't actually interact with any of the shops down there. The only thing we can interact, though, is the inn. And I believe if this old man would move! Move! Uh, one of these gravestones contains something. I think. I might be wrong. Don't care. No, no. Great, Isaac. Gravestone, Isaac. I know you don't look. You don't like looking at dead people. However, this is of the utmost importance. Isaac, look at the god. Freaking okay. There's nothing on the gravestones. So what do we have here? Uh, we have something filling up the entire area. And it growled at me. And now it's hopping away. So yeah, we have that. My store is submerged, I want to sell armor, there's no way. Oh, you're in the armor shop guy. Huh? So yeah, uh, this is gonna be another big old dungeon thing. But instead of starting that off right now, I want to show off the summon and I want to show off what I wanted to do. So I think... No, I need to switch this back. No, switch back. That. Just run around here, run into an enemy. Uh, yes, that's not a lot of enemies. It's good. Uh, Tundra. And now we're gonna summon Cybele. So first Plasma, because Ivan goes first, and right after that, the uh, freaking Garrett. Why are you faster? Okay, so here we have Cybele. You need three Vin Venus Jenny to summon this giant frog thing. A tree's growing out of its head, and a mustache and a beard. So yeah, that takes care of it pretty easily. Alright, so now that's done, I'm just gonna run around for a second and, uh, have- be able to move these jennies because now they're wrestling up. So give me just a moment. Okay, my hindsight of things, I didn't actually realize I had to go into the world map to actually, uh, get the jennies to, uh, um, set themselves again. Anyways, what I'm trying to do right now is a little bit something differently than what I've usually done. In Golden Sun, you can have a bunch of different classes. I always kept each Jenny to their respective uh, adept. So, Garrett would get all the Mars Jennies, Mia would get all the Mercury Jennies, Venus for Isaac, and Jupiter for Ivan. I've always had this in every single playthrough I've had, and I played this game a lot more than I really should, especially the second one. However, for this playthrough, I'm actually going to change these things up. I'm going to actually expand my knowledge and try to go past all the classes. For now, Garrett's still going to be in his, uh, 
Mars lineup right here. Mia right now, however, is going to be a diviner, and this is the synergy I've given her. Uh, she'll still be able to cure, and that's really what I re wanted her to do, is still have the ability to cure while having uh, different synergies to use, like growth and mad growth and froth. Isaac is now a swordsman. He has the ability, he has some of Mia's ability, like to cure poison and such. However, he has new synergy, thorn and cutting edge. Ivan is a elder. I pretty much cut down his uh, variety of synergy, but in the hindsight of things, I've also increased his stats. So, I just realized Isaac is now the slowest person in the entire party. Way past Garrett. Wow, that's a little awkward. So yeah, I'm gonna try this out because I've never actually done this before. And I really should because that's a big thing about Golden Sun is this vast expansion of classes by mixing up the Ginnies. I also make sure- I also try to make sure to uh, put certain Ginnies with certain people. Like for instance, if I can get back to that screen, um, Granite's gonna be- no, not Granite, shoot, why, why is Granite there? Uh, Quartz is gonna be for, with Mia in the worst case scenario if someone goes down, so I'm not inclined to use use it as much. Uh, likewise, um, probably should switch this over here. Likewise, um, Isaac has all the ones that I could just immediately use, so I'm not gonna be hurt too much. The thing is, um, when you use Jennies a lot, you're gonna change up their classes, and that could be a good thing or a bad thing, which is why I always want to stay with the normal one element only class so that I'm not gonna get screwed over immensely. However, I do want to try this because it's really interesting. I want to see if I can find a class that suits each of the characters to how I think they would be. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Next episode, we are gonna actually tackle this big old dungeon inside of a town and figure out if we can, uh, Drain the water from Alton and actually go to the weapon shop because I want to go to the weapon shop. Anyways, that's it. This is Zora Water signing out. I will see you guys later.